There is no doubt Xantharia, or grass trees of the common man, is truly an inquisitive species on this earth. Expeditions into the land of Xantharia are discouraged as the creatures respond viciously to our human arrival. This student has an approach distinct from other humans. He carries a resource no other scientist has even considered. These guards at the edge of the land of Xantharia are easily swayed by a batch of chocolate slice. A student learns the sign means it's a chocolate slice donation station. The guards are in fact noble citizens of the forest. All they ask for is for some chocolate slice and you can head on your way. The land of Xantharia is truly a beautiful, beautiful place. We see the Tui saints here singing hymns of praise to the gods above. Perched on the forest floor, their voices are hauntingly beautiful as they sing in unison with praise. I was indeed very, very touched. Oh, shit. Hello? A little busy at the moment. An orchestra? Uh, I'm not interested. No, I don't really care how many Grammy Awards it's won. I don't care who the guest vocalist is. Oh, it's October. I might be interested by then. Well, I'm busy. I'll, I'll catch you later. There are more interesting Xantharia plants sitting around. Some with lemonade stands. Others with talents being having two heads. And uh, very other interesting, interesting talents. What we were most interested in today was the clan of hipless janitors. We heard all about them, and we were told to head in and check them out. The clan of hipless janitors were an extremely respectable bunch. In grass tree culture, janitor is not a derogatory term or word. Indeed, it means well-deserving citizen. Their community reflects this as they perch themselves by the creek and take in the view, exchanging stories of past lives working their way to where they are now, respectable, honorable citizens. The Hitler's janitors are a proud tribe. They were very happy to show humans the Great Creek views from their dwelling. Magnificent. Despite cultural differences with humans, we seem to be able to relate on many levels have a lot in common. A wise mind in the clan, Wilfred the clan elder, is the backbone to their morale. Unfortunately, however, he does not possess a backbone, so he relies on technology funded by the clan to support his decaying body. He has many a story to tell, particularly about the things he has seen occur in the creek over the years. He was one of the founders of the Ant's Nest, a haven of productivity and activity for all the clan of Hitler's janitors. Guys, 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 I booked them. I booked in here until 3.30. Can you guys come back, man? But it is 3.30. I booked it at 4. Uh, what? Um, can you just wait outside for me? I won't be a second. Let's go back in the waiting room. Oh, man, where are I bought out there in the waiting room? There's some pretty good books out there. There's that new one by, um, C.C. Yale. We've all read that one. Your whole orchestra's read that one? Yeah, all of them. God, fine, then you guys take this then. It's friggin'. When you got out there in orchestra, you. Oh, did you guys call me earlier? Uh, Never mind. Just come in. Fucking orchestra movie. Doing a freaking Xanthory movie in here, and you guys are just worrying about your orchestra? God.